draft Lower Athabasca Regional Plan, uh, the government's uh, response to it, and the initial public reaction seems to have no one happy, which the government claims as a success. Now, under this version, 16% new area will be added to the existing 7% conserved land. That's 77% of Crown land wide open for development and 23% that will allow slightly less development. So do the Minister of SRD. Why does the government version of con uh, conservation permit conventional oil and gas, exploration of Honourable Minister. grazing, recreation. Well, Mr. Speaker, uh, the answer is that, uh, in fact, uh, when you take a look at Lower Athabasca Regional Plan, by the way, Mr. Speaker, it's out for consultation right. with Albertans. Right. So I don't know about these numbers. Everybody's chasing numbers. I don't know about the numbers. But what I will tell you, that the draft plan indicates that the region that would be set aside in the province of Alberta, in the northeastern part of the province, is three times the size of Banff National Park, cool. Mr. Speaker. Good. Yeah. Remember. Thanks very much. Back to the same uh, minister. When even the big players in the oil sands industry say land should be conserved with no subsurface activity, why has government not instituted a moratorium on uh, land sales or lease of land for that purpose in this region until the plan is finalized? The Honourable Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, uh, we will <coughs> be uh, taking a look as we go forward. Uh, and during this consultation period, in fact, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, I believe that uh, ERCB won't post land now that is in these conservation areas. Mr. Speaker, uh, you know, we do have to address a situation here where the economy of this province needs to continue to move forward. This is a driver of the Alberta and Canadian economy, very important in North America. Mr. Speaker, we're reaching a very fine balance here, and I have to tell you that the majority of Albertans Not are ever. in agreement. Agreed. To the same speaker, I think the majority of Albertans would argue that conservation was conservation. Now, will in situ development be allowed in the new conservation areas, or is it included under the non permitted oil sands and mining category under the plan? Is it in or out? Well, Mr. Speaker, that, uh, that depends. And again, please read the plan and look at the matrix. It's all there. There's a matrix in the plan, Mr. Speaker, that indicates under which areas of conservation what would be allowed, what would be disallowed. Mr. Speaker, it's there for consultation for Albertans to look at. And Mr. Speaker, I believe they're going to take a very good opportunity to look at it. And in the 60 days, Mr. Speaker, I believe we'll get a lot more information and develop a proper a final plan for Albertans in about 90 days. The Honourable Member